Hello fifth graders, welcome to this video and in this video today we're going to learn lesson 31. So let's get started. The first one we're going to look at is rounding numbers and we're gonna work on number one together. So number one we have 218,830. So the eight which is on the hundreds place is underlined. So we're going to look at the number which is on the right side of the underlined one. So in this case, we're looking at three here. So again, when we round the numbers, um, if the number is one, two, three, or four, we're going to round it down. And if the number is five, six, seven, eight, or nine, we're going to round it up. And we have three here, and this is less than five, so we're going to round it down. So eight is going to um, stay the same, and the 3 and 0 are going to be zeros. So the final answer will be 218,800. This will be the final answer. And the next one is multiplying fractions. And we're going to do number 1 together. So we have 3 over 10 times 4 over 11. So we're going to multiply across. So I'm going to multiply 3 and 4, which are the numerators, and then I'm going to multiply 10 and 11, which are the denominators. So 3 times 4 is 12, and then 10 times 11 is 110. But this fraction can be simplified. So I'm going to simplify this. So the 12 is going to be 6, and then 110 is going to be 55 because I divided both um, numerator and denominator by 2. So the final answer will be 6 over 55. Okay. And the next one is proportions. And we're going to cross multiply to solve the proportions. So let's work on number 1 we have 4 over 5 is equal to x over 35. So I'm going to cross multiply. So I'm going to multiply x and 5 and then 4 and 35. So I'm going to write 5x here because we don't know the number uh, which is x, right? So, and then I'm going to multiply 4 and 35, and that will be 2, and then 12, that will be 40, 440, right? So 5x is equal to 140. In order to solve for x, I'm going to divide both sides by 5. So 5 divided by 5 is 1. So this will be just x. And then 140 divided by 5 is 28. So the final answer will be that x is 28. Okay. And then the next one is percents. So we're going to convert this fraction to percentage. We have 7 over 10 here. And I'm going to multiply 10 for both numerator and denominator. So this will be the same as 70 over 100. The percentage is always out of 100, so this will be 70%, 70 percent. <laughs> sorry. Okay, let's do one more example here. We have, we're going to work on number 7, okay? We have 2 over 10, 2 over 10. The percentage is always out of um out of 100. So I'm going to multiply 10 for both numerator and denominator. And this will be 20 over 100. 
right? So the final answer will be 20% for this one. Okay, so this is it for this lesson. Um, thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video.